maybe two years. Uh, we'll see how we go with it. But I've fallen to the bug of go-karting. Now this was meant to be a cheap little uh, startup exercise into this and I'd set myself a pretty reasonable budget to start with but uh, starting from scratch again uh, with another motorsport you soon find out that your budget gets blown out very fast in regards to buying uh, all the tools required to do the job at the track uh, all the safety gear doesn't fit the motorsport so I can't reuse any of my race suits my boots my gloves they're all different material for this time around so there's another expense uh, it just doesn't stop so here we are um, now I will throw some photos in maybe now uh, a couple of photos of what uh, the go-kart looked previously like uh, the car is um, built by a gentleman called Craig Denton here in Adelaide South Australia amongst the go-kart scenes when I did my homework on him uh, he's very well known across Australia uh, his son's been doing racing for a while as well uh, the man knows how to set up a go-kart so when the time coming that he had one of his uh, pre-race chassis come up for sale that was it sent like a pretty no-brainer for someone that a knows what they're doing but he's still involved in the motorsport and C now has uh, I'd say collected another um, customer in regards to ongoing with engine rebuilding and parts and everything uh, and just constant battering of questions uh, now he's come to the aid and uh, he'll be helping helping me along when I need some engines built and stuff like that but really easy to get along with um, so this was one of his previously uh, ran chassis out of the couple he runs out uh, runs out of his little stable down out the North Adelaide um, came with the factory livery and everything on it which unfortunately uh, looked like a bit like a British Lord and uh, they're pretty dated even though the chassis is only a couple of years back uh, the stickering uh, livery department was definitely well past that it looked like a cut out in the 1980s um, so what in this video I'll show you is I'll run around the car a couple of changes that have happened since I've had it um, quick lead in actually to uh, what's behind me in this shed here uh, which started out to be a very small uh, go-kart trailer project and a little leak in a roof has blown out to be uh, something 20 times that and I've I never would have guessed that it's turned out to that but uh, you learn things along the way and well I've done it all at home myself so um, yes I've saved money but it's taken some blood sweat and tears to fix up uh, the dramas of someone else's handiwork that should never be allowed on the tools ever again um, from there a uh, bit of a rundown on what else is going to happen um, first time on the track should be in about two weeks time two to three weeks time depending hopefully the suit arrives from Autosport in the next couple of weeks uh, being it's from uh, OMP in Italy there's a backlog on things with COVID and the rest of the drums going on around worldwide at the minute so uh, I'm hoping that comes mid January uh, and I've got actually a very good friend of mine starting up at the same time um, who's jumped into a Fernando go-kart um, he'll be doing all the track days and everything with me. Whether he does racing is the next thing. Um, I wasn't kidding myself that this was going to be a Sunday club race. So I was always going to uh, see if I couldn't be a backmarker amongst some racing and uh, enjoy it. So there's always a little bit of uh, getting serious into it. But it's going to be some fun and get to meet some cool people along the way. So let me take off the cover, have you walk around some uh, delivery, explain what's going on and we'll go from there. All right. Alright guys, so here we are, uh, starting off with the cart itself, uh, it is a 2018 uh, Praga Dragon Evo 2 chassis uh, with a X30 engine built by Craig, um, from there, uh, livery here as you can see and a bit of the walk around video we just uh, may overlay at the top here. Um, was all done the overlay was changed and from there that was done by a gentleman in Melbourne from versatile designs by Brian um, I designed it all sent him what I want sent him my idea and then uh, he has all the carts uh, bumpers everything all up on uh, his computer and then just sends it all out to you so it's actually a pretty cool little process um, from here like I said the x30 the category of racing we will be looking at going into is the tag restricted whether it be light or medium I'm not sure yet it all depends on uh, this big fella here on where I fit into um, at, at the minute uh, we are 
borderline both so I've got to make a decision quite fast where I want to be because uh, that will be something uh, that will have to get decided soon um, from there if I take you around so the cart originally come with uh, I'm going to say very small seats so Craig when organizing the cart obviously being involved in carts was able to organize some seats uh, and then we went through a series of options ended up with this uh, Jekko C7 and by far the most comfortable go-kart seat I've sat in ever. Um, I've sat in the Tillets, uh, sat in the Necks, sat in the OTKs, uh, and by far I don't know what it's about them. Maybe it hugs my shape differently, uh, but it felt so much more better to sit in than the others. You can see that's pretty, in, in retrospect to the whole steering wheel, it's actually pretty large, um, but how it displays and looks. We'll start up the cart in a bit and uh, show you it's ultra bright and the numbers are very easy to clear, being uh, GPS lap timers, uh, also recognition for tracks. Craig's already got some of the, uh, that all sorted uh, in there for us. Uh, yeah, it's got a stack of options. It's like almost having like a, uh, a Motex style dash for your car, uh, but in a go-kart. Uh, and then from there, swinging around to the other side. Really not much to see other than that. Uh, the Douglas wheels, obviously a part of uh, part of this cart here that Craig's got on there. Um, I am going to get another spare set um, because if I can't imagine, I'm going to enjoy using a bead breaker and tire tongs all the time. Um, from there, it's all been set up with the pedal ballast and everything to suit uh, my short torso to get to the front of the cart uh, other than that she's all, much, all, all pretty much ready to rock um, no radiator blind uh, just the tape across the bottom that's how Craig likes to run his cars uh, uh, carts sorry and uh, from there we'll, uh, we'll see how we go fitted a brand new exhaust uh, from there as well because the previous one had all the sensors and everything locked in there um, as well as if I swing around uh, obviously you can't see it in there but brand new filter as well um, and engine itself if I turn it on it's only done a couple of hours so it's uh, pretty fresh to go from there a Jekko C7 seat I tried about five or six at Craig's house and uh, the Jekko seemed to be the most comfortable for my frame and build uh, but he said apparently that's the biggest we can go before we start stretching the chassis so let's start it up let's show you the dash um, it is still running some old fuel in it so it might be a little bit smoky as well um, we'll start it up show what the dash looks like um, quick whiz into there quickly uh, a glimpse at the budget blowout trailer and then uh, from there, quick outro guys, and then we'll have a good video of first day at the track. So as we said at the top of the video, uh, my friend Pete will be there as well. So it'll be a good day to see both the carts, both have some action and uh, both have some fun in motorsport. We've both been doing motorsport for a long time and uh, it's one of those things you never really get to enjoy with your friends, uh, as close contact as you can with that. And uh, we'll both head out and we've both joined our local go-kart uh, club here. And uh, we'll both be having our first test day at Monado go, uh, go Kart Track, I should say, which is only around the corner from here, because uh, I'm in Adelaide, deep in the Adelaide Hills here. So that's the closest one for us. Other than that, let's get started up.
realised, well, I can't get the lights in the shed working, but here we are, here's the trailer that's uh, started to snowball a bit. Uh, the bloke I purchased it off, actually, I was looking to hire a trailer, then searching Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, making offers, um, not liking what I find, to the night before going to collect the card off Craig Denton, actually finding this trailer behind us. From here, <laughs> Um, it was meant to have started off with a very small leak in the roof in, if I swing back around, uh, back in the top corner over there, um, which at the time I thought for the price, you can't knock it, we'll take it. Me and uh, my co-driver Jake, who's involved in all the other motorsports with us, picked it up and we thought, oh, you know, be quick fix and uh, we'll be all good, we'll be back on the road and uh, the young lad seemed to be uh, pretty all over it and thought oh, I'd only be a quick fix as well. Had a look around the rest of the trailer, it was all good um, until we got home and what I might do as well is I've got some photos, I actually haven't got any footage, I didn't film anything of this so far but I've uh, got some photos I'll lap in now of what happened. So the roof had a false roof. We, which was lino covered, we cut the lino and the whole roof collapsed with foam, water, insulation and everything and on further inspection up on the roof uh, where the two metal panels are and the channel, the channel actually was doing nothing and the panels were not even connected. So it's had a whole roof rebuild to start the front. Um, all new strengthening on the inside of the trailer as well. Um, all these panels here were half off, all the screws weren't in. Um, it's had about three industrial tubes of sticker flex used around the thing to make sure it is rock solid. Um, if I swing around, I don't think it's going to get into the trailer because the lights, but maybe on another day I'll show you. But from there, it's been obviously full reno on the inside, fresh, uh, fresh boards. It's going to be fresh roof internally as well. Um, yes, it does have an air con vent, you have noticed. And yes, it did have a fridge at one stage of its life in there. Um, leaving the air con in there, um, it's quite handy to have for the track. From there, uh, brake lights need fixing, being an old trailer that's been neglected as well, so we'll fix them up. But we're in the last couple of stages of sealing up. It's been an absolute massive job to a whole frame on the roof and uh, yeah, blew out of control. So if I look back on my time, could have I bought something pre-done and be done with? 100%. But in proper me fashion, I thought I got away with it and uh, thought I had a, I had a nice, easy, cheap fix. I was wrong. But it'll be a good thing once I'm done. Um, we're going to fix all the issues with it and it will last us for the next couple of years. And then if I decide to continue on the motorsport, uh, we will potentially upgrade to something a bit more solid and potentially a two-car trailer. Uh, telling me about it and I thought he was taking the piss but he actually wasn't taking the piss it's actually all different material so uh, quite lucky the card suits aren't anywhere near as expensive as what a uh, three layer OMP suit is for Tarmac Rally or Motorsport um, same with gloves and boots uh, got away with that quite lucky and what, I, what my level of quite lucky expense was is different to everyone else's but um, I mean can't really complain it's your safety and uh, there's only one price you put on your body when it comes into those kind of things. So, I mean, if you've got a ten dollar head, it's the age-old adage: the thing with the helmet. You got a ten dollar head, you buy a ten dollar helmet. Uh, <laughs> and I love it because it's so true. Um, from there, we and speaking of helmets, still keeping my Stilo helmet, um, just a new visor and stuff, and a bit of a dress up from there. But other than that, we are set to go and itching to use it. So, uh, the next test day, I believe, is in three weeks. Um, so touch wood, everything runs to plan in regards to suit arriving and uh, trailer being ready. Because uh, I've, I've been sitting on the cart now and uh, want to get it ready. So uh, get it ready and get using it because if, um, I'm starting to get itchy. And if I'm starting to, if I want to go racing as well, I need as much time in that seat as possible. Lucky we're only maybe 20 minutes from the track, but still finding the time is going to be hard. But um, I'll do it a good. Uh, big video of the first day and some running around and everything like that and as I've said before Pete will be out there as well in his Fernando car so uh, we'll have some cool footage from him and I'm, I'm more than sure we'll, we'll end up duelling at some part of the day once some fresh tyres and as you can see are uh, pretty glazed uh, I'll get some practice days out of them but from there that will be uh, that will be 
it. Um, so with motorsport, things are changing rapidly. Apparently there's a new tyre on board for next year. Lecon or something along the line. So I guess I'm getting another few sets of wheels and tyres and, and putting them in all the side and so it starts again. Um, but just as a cap, um, if anyone is interested, so to start from fresh in this, in this sport, cart, uh, the trolley, stone racing team's uh, trolley. There, it's got a little carry train stuff. Uh, ultra easy to get the cart on. It is a two person job to get the cart on. Consider of trolley's brand new, cart's gone through a rebuild, suit, gloves, boots, all brand new year membership and all that all brand new so can't really do too much more about that and car obviously in very good second hand condition that includes me changing the livery as well um, another cheap exercise um, but anyway enough of the talking we'll see you guys out at the track don't forget to like subscribe comment down the bottom uh, and share around any questions at all yell out guys and uh, thanks again